Hi friends, thanks for watching this video. This is CA Damodaram Pagrala. Today, I am going to cover adjustment for reserves and surplus in partnership accounts. So this is one of the items which we adjust under four special situation in partnership accounts. That is change in profit sharing ratio, admission, retirement and death. You know that already I covered in the overview of partnership accounts. Whenever there is a change in the relationship among the partners under four situations mentioned earlier, some partners are gaining and some partners are sacrificing and you know the rule, gaining partner should compensate the sacrificing partner. So this compensation will happen under three items. One is goodwill, revaluation of assets and liabilities and then reserves. This reserve is directly available in the balance sheet. We don't want to do any calculations. It's directly in the balance sheet available. So that reserve partners will do adjustments. Again, the adjustment will depends on what partners decided in the partnership deal. For every item, even for goodwill, revaluation of assets and liability, there are two cases. Same way here reserves also. There are two to three cases where partners can decide what should be done with the reserves and surplus. So now I am going to give you what and all possibilities are available with the reserves and surplus under four situations. One, the partners decide to distribute the entire reserves. So it's very simple. There is a reserve in the balance sheet, nothing but over a period of time, past years, accumulated profits that is sitting in the balance sheet, that amount actually created by the old partners over a period of time. So who is having the right to use that money is the old partners. Now what they decide is, let's distribute, let's take and eat the entire reserves and surplus. So it's a very simple case. In that case, what we do is, we take that entire reserves and give it to our old partners in their old profit sharing ratio. The accounting entry will be like this. Reserve surplus will be there in the balance sheet on the liability side. So all the items, liabilities will have credit balance. So when you distribute, that's it, this reserves going to get cancelled. To cancel the credit, we have to debit. So debit reserves and surplus account to, to whom and all we are going to give to all the old partners. So to old partners capital account in their old profit sharing ratio, you will distribute. That is case one. Second case, they decides not to distribute. They decides not to distribute. Means we should not touch the reserves and surplus even after change. The reserves and surplus is going to continue in the balance sheet. They will carry forward in the future. But still, as per the rule, the gaining partner should compensate the sacrificing partners in the three items. So here, we have to give adjustment for reserves and surplus also. So in this case, what we do is, instead of touching the reserves and surplus, it's very simple. How much the gaining partner gained that ratio on the entire reserves and surplus will be taken and given to a sacrificing partner in their sacrificing ratio. So it is the firm's responsibility to collect that money, not the entire resource and surplus, only to the extent gained. So now that amount will be collected from the gaining partner and give it to a sacrificing partner. Now in this case, you have to think and pass the entry from firm side. So firm has to collect the money. So from whom we have to collect, we have to debit. So gaining partner account data to sacrificing partner. So to imagine total resource and surplus in the balance sheet is 50,000. In that one partner gain of one fifth ratio. So it is 50,000 into one fifth. The 10,000 rupees will be brought by gaining partner and give it to a sacrificing partner. This is case two. Case three where they mix case one and case two. So partners, old partners decides to take some portion of the resource surplus and the balance portion they decided to carry forward. So it's nothing but mix of case one and case two. So to the extent, say for example, one lakh rupee there in the balance sheet, total resource and surplus, but partners, old partners say X and Y decided to distribute 60,000 rupees. So in this case, what we do is resource and surplus 60,000 to partner X and partner Y that 60,000 rupees distributed in their old profit sharing ratio. Remaining portion 40,000, they don't touch, they continue to carry forward in the future. In this case, we follow the case to where gaining partner to sacrificing partner 
on that balance 40,000 into the gaining ratio will be applied. If more than one partner sacrifice, the amount will be compensated to them in their sacrificing ratio. This is how the resource and surplus will be adjusted under four situations. Accounting entry will be same under four situations. Only thing is gaining and sacrificing partners will keep on change. So thanks for watching this. If you have any doubts, you can contact me. I'll clarify. Thank you.